Hey guys, Savage Dan here. What is going on? We got some Black Ops 2 today. This is actually a very good game for me. Um, my reflexes were just spot on with this game. I don't know what what it was, but it felt awesome. So I was like, "Fuck yeah, that's that's an awesome game." Like if I was getting shot, I had the reflexes of just quick jumping, turning, and shooting the guy in the face. And I love when my reflexes are like that. It, it usually leads to me having fun on games. And last night I had a, a match on Battlefield for competitive. It was a preseason. It, it was a scrim pretty much. Um, and my, my reflexes weren't there. It, it kind of sucked. But we lost because we, we, we were down a player anyway. So it didn't really matter that much. But yeah, uh, I actually had fun playing Black Ops when I got this gameplay. It, was, it wasn't pissing me off. It was actually fun. Uh, I was actually able to uh, to kill people pretty easily. Uh, last time I tried to play, I couldn't kill people, and people were camping, and it just made me angry. And it didn't. It's not like that today, or when I recorded this. And I was glad. I might jump on after I'm done recording the whole commentary and everything. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I I, I kind of went through a slump with COD in general. It got really boring, really annoying, and it just felt like the same thing over and over again, which I'm sure a lot of people feel that way about uh, the CODs that come out. It's just, we buy them anyway. I don't know why, we just, we do that. Don't ask me, I have no clue why. But, you know, we buy the same game every year. The uh, only thing that changes is the maps, uh, the guns, and the single player, but not a lot of people buy Call of Duty for the single player, let's be honest. Most people buy it for multiplayer. And really, I think they could make a multiplayer, just a multiplayer, and sell it at a disc and make the whatever, what did they sell? Half a billion copies, I think, of Black Ops 2, some crazy shit like that. I think they could do that with just making a multiplayer. They don't even have to make a single player. I'm telling you right now. People rarely buy it for single player. Because single players aren't really that good of Call of Duty. Uh, they went down in, in the years. Uh, just because, I guess, they're running out of ideas. But that happens when you know, you're doing the same game over and over again. With just you know some different characters. And a little bit of a different story. So, that's just how I feel on that, but, you know, I don't really call the shots at, at Infinity Ward and Treyarch, obviously. I'm just a gamer. Uh, I'll always be a gamer, uh, probably till the point where I can't use my hands anymore. Which, uh, for me, it's happening a little earlier than I would have hoped for. But, hopefully this, this, uh, whatever the hell it's called goes away. I forget the, well, I forget what it's called already. It's just, it's a nuisance. Like, when I was recording this about halfway through it, I, I couldn't feel my pinky pushing down the shift button to sprint. That's, that's not good at all. I just, if my whole hand feels like it's about to go numb when I play games for longer than, I don't know, 20 minutes maybe, something like that. So, it's just, it's more becoming a nuisance. It's not painful. Not for me. I'm sure there are cases out there where it is painful, but for me, it's not painful. It's just, it's annoying to have your hand feel like it's asleep all the time and have that weird feeling of like, there's a thousand needles poking you every time you touch something when your hand really isn't asleep. It's, it's really just my pinky and my ring finger on my left hand. My ring finger, not so bad. Like it gets a little numb. But not as numb as my pinky does. So, I don't know. Hopefully it goes away. I'm still trying to think of what it's called. I really, I'm I'm just full blown dirt. But, whatever. It's something syndrome. I have no idea. But, um, I'm actually enjoying playing all games again. Which I'm glad. I said this before, but. Um, if, you, if you guys watch Machinima Respawn. Uh, their new channel. Uh, they were even, Sark and APL are into gaming some, so as you can see, it happens to everyone. 
uh, I knew I couldn't be the only one that just didn't feel like doing anything with games other than playing for like my own benefit just to have fun because trying to get a gameplay for COD is quite stressful so anyone that doesn't know doesn't do YouTube doesn't really understand that but you know that's just that's just how it is so I'm glad I'm out of that I'm glad I can bring good content to you guys again but uh, I will see you guys later thank you for watching Goodbye.